threat as well as heavy rainfall threat for today. We're going to take a time out from the immediate severe weather threat and talk about a new threat for later this week. I went by the fairgrounds earlier this morning. Thousands of campers coming in right now, and they are going to encounter hot temperatures with those hot rods later this week. There's my high temperature call for Friday, mid 90s. That's what we had yesterday, but the humidity is going to be even higher. 96 on Saturday. It's mostly dry those days, only isolated activity. And look what it does to the heat index. Puts it over 100, close to 110. And because of that, new excessive heat watches have been posted from northern Cuba to Wayne and Ontario counties. These fresh off the presses for Friday afternoon through Saturday afternoon. These will be expanded, unfortunately, for those you're going to want to keep cool as you're at that event. Now for today, the rain's helping keeping us cool and we've got quite a bit of it a little bit too much too quickly. I know it's been quite dry in these areas east of the lake and they're able to absorb more rainfall up in this area, but we're getting rain coming down in excess of an inch and two inches in some spots. We've already had some flooding issues by and large. The heaviest flooding threat now looks to be Onondaga County north and northeastward with a stronger wind threat and some thunderstorms to the south. This is all as the remnants of Barry slide through central New York over the next three to six hours. A cold Cold front up to the north and the combination is going to keep us wet and soggy with a thunderstorm threat at two o'clock showing the pockets of heavy rainfall. We won't be into the clear until the evening hours as these start to push further to the south. You'll see still in Shenango County some thunderstorms and by seven o'clock there's not much left over a few scattered showers and then going towards tomorrow morning we're mostly dry. There could be some patchy fog. Then as we go through tomorrow it's a quieter day. We'll get those temperatures working back up a little bit better for going to the pool. Just an isolated shower or thunderstorm threat and finishing the day a lot brighter. We'll be into the mid 80s here and then that clearing is going to be sticking around for Friday as a warm front lifts to the north. There may be an isolated shower or thunderstorm Friday, but otherwise we are soaring temperature wise. So for the next two days, the forecast 79 cloudy and humid today with showers and thunderstorms potential for flooding rains. Watch out in low lying poor drainage areas and streams and creeks. They could quickly rise 68 tonight. A few rain showers, especially early on and tomorrow just an isolated shower or thunderstorm. Very humid. The dew point temperature is going to be getting out of control later this week. 85s are high here, but the dew point on Friday reaches the low to mid 70s. Quite unusual for central New York and that combined with 95 is going to be the issue. We'll show you the exact numbers and look further when we cool down in my seven days still to come.